All right, there are a lot of questions about the Big 12 for Florida State, and I'm going to talk about that today. I'm going to play you some clips. I'm going to talk a little bit about what happened yesterday in an interview that everybody's freaking out over. But I do want to calm your nerves, and I'll take you back to December when uh, Peter Collins, the chair of the Board of Trustees, was talking through the Board of Trustees meeting while they sued Talked to, we're talking about suing the ACC. Back then, he said there are two conferences. He didn't say three. He didn't say Power Five. He didn't say Power Four because of the Pac-2 who held their media days yesterday, and it was hilarious. He said there are two conferences. And the entire focus of everything that Florida State's doing has been two conferences. There, I just gave you the answer to the video before we even go through it all. So if you click out of it, at least leave a like before you go. But... I just want to calm your fears and and I'll back all of that up here with the rest of the video. But I am zero percent concerned about Florida State landing in the Big 12. A lot of reasons for that. There's a lot of different angles that we could take with this. But let's talk about what happened yesterday and then we'll go from there. So yesterday, a video interview dropped where John Kurtz, who does a great job on here, has had Doug Rohan on his show several times. John Kurtz interviewed Ross Dellinger of Yahoo Sports. And John, in his interview, asked about the chances of Florida State going to the Big 12. Now, Ross answered that and answered it in a very intelligent way that I would encourage all of you guys to go watch and check out. Kurtz's video was great. A lot of good information in it. And then... When he put the video out, he put the article out, he, he said, Ross Ellinger answers questions about Florida State and the Big 12 in talks. And you guys and, and, and the social media world saw that and said, it's done. Florida State and the Big 12 are done. It, that's where they're going. The trolls thought that's where they're going. The, the trolls on our side that, oh, I told you this wouldn't go well. That's how it all went down. But nobody actually watched the video. Nobody that was freaking out anyway actually watched the video. I watched the video. I heard what Ross had to say. And Ross said there are three options for Florida State. There are three things that could happen. Number one is I think that they either go to the SEC or the Big Ten. Number two, if, if that doesn't work, I think they stay in the ACC. Second option for Ross Dellinger of Yahoo Sports was that they stay in the ACC. He said it's more likely that they stay in the ACC than, than go to the Big 12 or do anything else. Go to the option three. Option three was go to another conference, which, again, if you weren't going to be in one of the big two and you weren't going to be in the ACC, what would be that next conference? Well, it would be the Big 12, obviously. If we got to an option three, guess what? Yeah, Florida State, that's where they would be. I actually don't even think that's the case. I'll, I'll give you my opinion here in a minute. But I think that makes sense. I don't think anything Ross said was that crazy. Yeah, they want the SEC and Big Ten first. And then if that doesn't work, they're going to stay in the conference that they're currently suing. How likely do you guys think that is? How likely do you think it is that Florida State stays in the ACC? Because to me, I don't think it's very likely. Maybe we disagree on that. Maybe we have a difference of opinion on that. But then they would go to another conference. Then they would end up in the Big 12. Only after trying to stay in the ACC would they potentially end up in the Big 12. And that's what the freak out was about. There are conversations happening. And I do believe that conversations have had with have had have happened with Florida State in the Big 12. Do I think they're serious? Do I think that's where we're going? No. But I do think that you should be aware of all options when you're going into a multi-million dollar, a hundreds of millions of dollars type decision. You should be aware of every pitfall. You should be aware of what happens if you can't get into the big two. You should be aware of what happens if you go independent. You should be aware of what happens if you have to stay in the ACC. You should be aware of what happens if you have to go to the big 12. You should be aware of all of it. And so I have no problem with conversations happening. But just conversations happening on them, their own doesn't mean that some sort of finality has come to it. I saw a lot of people talking about what Kurtz was doing as clickbait. I saw a ton of people referencing, oh, well, that's just clickbait. And it wasn't. He represented it, and it was it sensationalized? Maybe. Did was it enticing? Maybe. But you guys click on my videos all the time, and you complain about you complain about mine being clickbait. When is that what it is? Maybe I don't. But did he back up what he said it was about? He said it was about the Big Twelve talks. He said it was about Florida State and the Big Twelve being a possibility. And Ross confirmed it is a possibility. It's unlikely. I don't think it happens, but it is a possibility. 
it's not clickbait to entice someone to click. It's not clickbait to give somebody extra motivation to want to click. Now, if he said Ross Dellinger says that Florida State is absolutely a lock to the Big 12, and then he had the video that he had yesterday, that would be clickbait because it'd be lying. But Kurtz did a great job of representing it and making you want to click. And some of you did, but a lot of you didn't. You just read the article or you read the title and you freaked out. And that's really not what's going on here. That's not a concern. That's not a worry. Now, if you needed more confirmation on this, Ross Dellinger went on his own podcast last night and he was asked directly about it. And here is what he said to answer. Uh, Let's get right at this. this. Does does Florida State and Clemson want any part of that league? Well, if they have nowhere else to go. Is it really better for them to go there than just stay? Well, the only reason, the only the only thing that it would be better for would be if the Big 12 would offer them more money, right? Now, right now, the Big 12 really can't offer them more money. Um, they can't offer them SEC-type, Big 10-type money, which is 60 70 $80 million a year. Right now, Big 12 teams get you know less than 40, and they're not going to take a dilution in their shares. They already took a dilution from the new four teams that were, that were added. So they'd have to find a way to find money uh, to give Florida State and Clemson Big Ten SEC type money, which of course would be right. They're down the road a little bit with this private equity. Is that a is that a lane? Um, I don't know. So he was asked straight up: Is it really worth it? Do they even want any part of this league? And he said. The only reason that they would do that is if they have nowhere else to go. So then it comes down to what do you do you believe they have somewhere else to go? Ross and some of these guys are kind of hesitant to say that the Big Ten and the SEC are are just taking Florida State on like that. I, I happen to disagree there, but that's not my. That's fine. That's not. You can disagree or you can agree there. But he said they'd only go there if they have nowhere else to go. He was followed up. It was asked, is it really better for them to go there than to just stay? He said the only way that it would be better for them to go to the Big 12 than to stay was if the Big 12 was offering significantly more money. And he followed that up immediately by saying right now the Big 12 cannot offer them more money. I think this is telling. I think, you know, we we often hear, oh, is something a possibility? Well, yes, anything's a possibility. But is it likely? Well, Ross has now told you twice, once in the interview that you got clickbaited into, as you might say. And then once in in his own podcast, listen, it's a possibility, but I don't see any way that this really happens. And he follows up on it later, and and I would encourage you to go check out the Yahoo Sports podcast because I, I couldn't, I just couldn't fit a, the entire fifteen minute conversation into this, and and want to kind of get my take on it too. But it was really good. The, it, it went on, and and Dan Wetzel and Pat Forty had some thoughts and had some opinions on it as well. Go ahead and listen to what Dan Wetzel had to say uh, about Florida State potentially leaving for the Big 12. Man, I, it, like to walk away from what you have for, I mean, it would have to be substantially more money and a more exciting place. I think it's, I think it would have to be, I, 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 look, and I, I understand these guys will go and blow up blow every burn every bridge for an an extra nickel but like the idea that you would leave the southeast and all of your traditions for any not just a lot more money but a situation where you're saying hey we're in the sec now man or we're going to play all these big 10 schools not i I, just it's i don't know i hate to say no shot because we've seen pretty much every lunacous thing but pat can you imagine Yeah, I mean, I think he's right here. And this goes down to what your thoughts are on Florida State's administration. What your thoughts are on Florida, and I'm not even talking just Michael Alford. What are your thoughts on the way that Florida State is run in totality? What are your thoughts on the uh, Board of Trustees' ability to lead? What are your thoughts on um, the uh, president? What are your thoughts on, you know, Alford included and and that part of the administration? What are your thoughts on them? Do Do you think that they're capable do you think that they're doing all of this just to land in the big 12 do, do you think that when drew weatherford got everybody fired up by saying we do we want to play ball uh or, or do we want to play games do, do you think that he was referring to the big 12 there do you think he was talking about taking a lateral move if so then yeah the big 12 should worry you 
if you're not confident in any of those people that I mentioned, Peter Collins and and you're I you know I sat behind Peter Collins at, in Charlotte for the ACC championship. Dude was as fired up as anybody else in that stadium. You know, think he's passionate about this stuff. Peter Collins and Michael Alford and President McCullough. If you're not confident in those guys and you think Drew Weatherford was full of crap, then maybe you should be worried about the Big Twelve. But otherwise, Wetzel tells you right there. It just doesn't make any sense at all. Again, I, and I, this is something I haven't even thought of. Listen, I know we all hate the ACC, right? I, I get that. But I, I like playing, and, and now it's scary, and we've had some, we've had some uh, tough moments there. But I like playing at Raleigh. Like I, I, that's a fun environment to go play. Playing at Virginia Tech? Playing at Georgia Tech, like those are, you know, even Wake Forest, who, you know, Wake's, you know, a bunch of nobodies. I get it. But Snuggy, like, I like some of the ACC traditions that we have. I'm not even being funny with that. Like, playing Miami, obviously, massive. Playing, I mean, playing UNC the last few times has been a ton of fun. Playing Virginia, that rivalry has always meant something. And, and so, I mean, I, and I, as somebody who likes basketball, I've always loved going to Cameron, I've always loved UNC. And so I, I like all of that stuff. I, I, I like some of the traditions that we have here in the ACC. I, I'm not even, that's not even a joke. I, I think that the Big Ten and SEC would certainly be better. But if you're going to tell me that I could play for the same amount of money, I could either play all the teams that we're, we have some rivalry with now, right? Virginia Tech and Virginia and Miami and, and, uh, uh, Georgia Tech and 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 some of these other programs. Why would I want to go play in Ames, Iowa, or against UCF, or Manhattan, Kansas, or any of these other places? Like none of the Big Twelve is an appeal to me. And so you would need to pay Florida State a lot of money to give up everything they've got in the ACC to go elsewhere. That it just wouldn't. That would make no sense to me at all. Now, in the SEC, you've got rivalries there. You're recruiting against a lot of those programs. They're big brands. The Big Ten, same thing. Big national brands. But, man, I'm not trying to give any credit to the ACC here, but I would much rather be playing all the ACC teams that we have built up traditions and rivalries with than play the Big 12 teams. Maybe that's the easiest way to say it. Maybe I fumbled over my words for five minutes, but I would much rather be playing Virginia Tech and UNC and, of course, Miami and Clemson and uh, shoot, I, I'd rather be playing Pittsburgh and Louisville than most of the Big 12 teams. Maybe West Virginia would be fun because you'd remember back to Bobby's last game. There are not Oklahoma State, Gundy would be fun. That's about it. Colorado, maybe, you know, the Dion thing. Who knows if he's even going to be there? But yeah, the idea that Florida State would leave it all, it, like he says, he's, I hate to say no shot, but man, what are the chances? And they're about none. All right, Pat Forty, who who can be pretty hit or miss uh, with some of his takes, uh, also had a take. We'll play that quickly, talk about it, and get out of here. Right. It would be a massive failure and a real comeuppance if Clemson and Florida State took a sideways move to the Big 12. There's really only three options for them. And one's the SEC, which to, at this point does not seem likely. Things can change. The second is the Big 10. I'm not sure how likely that is but things can change. The third one is you go it alone and wait for everything to blow up and then jump in with one of those two. Or you just stay where you are and wait for it to blow up and jump in with one of those two. But going to the Big 12 solves nothing. As you said, it, it, it creates more problems and more uh, drawbacks for your fans than it certainly would add to the bottom line unless – Brett Yartmark can somehow reinvent the revenue stream. And again, I, I think this is a good point as well. Now, again, I don't agree with him as much on like SEC Big Ten not being likely right away. That's fine. Either either way, like, I, you know, whether that's likely or not, we can have our disagreements. Maybe I'm a bit of a homer. Maybe those guys uh, know things and aren't saying them. Maybe they truly just do believe it. Like, that's fine. Either way, I don't really care. The, the points of agreement, though, are yes – if Florida State has done all of this and they've endeared their fan base, they have absolutely um, gotten their fan base to 
be riled up and excited about what they're doing against the ACC. They've seen an increase in battles in. They've seen an increase in donations at the boosters. They, they've seen all of that. If they take all that goodwill that they've built up and go to the Big 12, they'll throw it all away. Um, they will absolutely kill all of the goodwill that they had built up. There's no question about it. We talked in a, in, a, in a previous video about why the SEC makes more sense over the Big Ten. And what I think you'll see is if Florida State was to announce that they're going to the Big Ten or the SEC, you would see a massive jump in booster donations, in season tickets. It would be huge for the Seminoles. I think you'll see a drop if the big teams that you're welcoming to Tallahassee are Iowa State and Kansas and TCU and UCF and Utah and, and, and programs like that. Uh, no offense to those programs, but I don't care. They're not Florida State. They're not, they're not on our level. And so I, I don't think that that's the way it goes down. I, I think that it, you're right. It would be a massive failure if Florida State was to do all of this and then take a lateral move. In fact, probably even a, a back step. Now, financially, you may make a little bit more, but essentially a lateral move. This doesn't even talk about the fact that the reason you got left out of the playoff, the reason that you didn't get into the big dance was because you were in the ACC. And that the Big 12 doesn't fix that. What's a better conference? The ACC with Florida State and Clemson or the Big 12 right now with Florida State and Clemson? What are you comparing there? I, 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 I mean, if you want to make an argument for one or the other, that's fine. I don't know that you can definitively say that one is head and shoulders above the other, but I, I don't know that it's enough to be able to make that argument. You're going to pay hundreds of millions of dollars and end up in the Big 12, ACC Part 2? They just took UCF. It would be a huge failure if that's where you ended up. I, and I like what Forty said here. Again, I don't agree with everything he says, but I think it would be better for the Seminoles to go independent. It would be better for the Seminoles to go it alone. Go negotiate your rights with whomever. TNT keeps getting thrown around. Go negotiate with ESPN. Go negotiate with Apple. Go negotiate with Amazon. I, who cares? You'd be better off being independent. If you went independent, you'd see that same rise in ticket sales. You'd see that same rise in booster donations because you did it. You broke out of the ACC. Breaking out of the ACC and falling into the Big 12, you might as well just stay where you're at. And Forty says that as well. Going to the Big 12 adds absolutely nothing. Later on, Ross said the Big 12 would have to agree to take unequal revenue sharing, which would help with football, but he seemed super doubtful that they'd do that. And if you're a Big 12 president, and would Florida State take that? I was asked this morning, uh, a buddy texted me and said, what, do you think they would do that? What if they give you another 15 to 20 million? Well, first of all, that's not enough to get equal with the, with the Big 10 and the SEC. So you're still behind. But in theory, maybe you take that. Um, if they're going to pay some legal fees for you, help you out in that respect, yeah, you could, you could do that. If you're a Big 12 president, why would you agree to that, right? You just lost Texas and Oklahoma, who dominated you for years. You just lost the big bullies of your conference. Are you really going to pay extra money? Are you going to pay the legal fees for Florida State to come in and beat your heads in for a few years? And then just jump to the Big 2 later when it suits them. Like, we all know what the end game is. We all know what this is going to be. The idea that you would pay extra, that you would give up some of your money so that Florida State and Clemson could come in and beat your brains in just for them to jump at a better opportunity when it comes along. I can't see any Big 12 president agreeing to that. Maybe some would. I, I don't know. But I don't see that as a realistic possibility. It seems doubtful that they would do it. Ross seemed doubtful they would do it. All of this to say, I don't think the Big 12 makes sense. And this is just my response to the Dellinger stuff that's going around, the Ross interview that Kurtz did. I'm not talking to every basement troll that's out there tweeting, oh, FSU to the Big 12. I think Ross is very well connected. I think that's why when he said it, people took it a little bit more seriously. But I, I don't think it's realistic. Ross himself told you he doesn't think it's realistic. And so stop freaking out about this. I think what's most likely is Florida State ends up in one of the power two. I think that what's next most likely, Florida State goes independent for a season or two. And what's third most likely is that Florida State stays in the ACC. After that, I think it's the Big 12. I, I think the Big 12 would be the last possible resort. Maybe the ACC blows up. Maybe you don't have an ACC. If the ACC blows up, then maybe at that point, you just have to go somewhere for a year or two to, to make it work. And then you go to the power two. 
that would be a scenario I guess I'm okay with, but I'd rather you just stay in the ACC. I'd rather you just stay in the ACC. There's no reason to spend all this money, spend hundreds of millions of dollars to go and make the same money you were making now. It's like paying an attorney hundreds of millions of dollars so that he can get you another six cents an hour working your job. It is pointless. What are your thoughts? Let's talk about it down in the comments. I appreciate you guys for hanging out. As always, needed to get this little rant off today. Happy Thursday to you. We'll talk soon. Gunnels.